As we rise with the sun, we invite the light of God's love and mercy into our hearts, allowing Him to take control of every situation we face. This morning, we surrender our burdens, our worries, and our fears, trusting that God will lead us through whatever challenges lie ahead. Let us begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with humble hearts, seeking your guidance, your wisdom, and your peace. We thank you for the gift of this new day, for the breath in our lungs, and for the opportunity to experience your presence in our lives. Lord, as we embark on this day, we ask that you take over every situation we face. We surrender our plans, our desires, and our concerns into your capable hands. Guide us, protect us, and uplift us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Life can be overwhelming at times. We all have moments when we feel lost, burdened, and uncertain about the future. But the beauty of our faith is that we don't have to navigate these challenges alone. God is with us every step of the way, ready to take the wheel if we simply allow Him. This morning, I want to encourage you to let go and let God. Surrendering to God's will doesn't mean giving up on our hopes and dreams. Instead, it means trusting that God knows what is best for us, even when we cannot see the bigger picture. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 reminds us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. These words are a powerful reminder that when we place our trust in God, He will guide us along the right path. Take a moment now to reflect on the areas of your life where you might be holding on too tightly. Is there a situation that you find difficult to let go of? Are there fears or anxieties that are weighing you down? Imagine placing those concerns into God's hands. Imagine Him lifting that weight off your shoulders and replacing it with His peace. God's love for us is immeasurable. He sees our struggles, our pain, and our fears, and He wants to help us. But we must be willing to trust Him fully. As we go about our day, let's make a conscious effort to release our grip on the things that are beyond our control and allow God to take over. Let us pray for the strength to trust in God's plan. Lord, we ask for your strength today. Help us to release our fears and doubts, knowing that you are in control. Give us the courage to trust in your plan, even when it doesn't align with our own. Guide our steps, Lord, and lead us in the direction that brings us closer to you. When we face challenges, remind us that we are never alone. You are always with us, guiding us, and providing for us. Thank you for your unwavering love and for the peace that comes from knowing that you are in control. Amen. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God. It is through prayer that we can pour out our hearts to Him, seek His guidance, and find comfort in His presence. When we pray, we are not just speaking into the void, we are engaging in a powerful dialogue with our Creator, who listens and responds with love and compassion. This morning, let's dedicate some time to prayer. Let's bring before God every concern, every fear, and every hope we hold. Let's ask Him to take over our situations and to work in ways that we cannot even imagine. As Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 teaches us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of prayer. We thank you for the privilege of coming before you, knowing that you hear us and that you care about every detail of our lives. This morning, we lift up to you all of our concerns and burdens. We ask that you take control of every situation we face. Lord, we pray for our families, that you would bless them, protect them, and guide them. We pray for our work, that you would give us the wisdom and strength to carry out our tasks with excellence and integrity. We pray for our health, that you would heal us where we are hurting and sustain us where we are weak. Father, we also pray for those who are struggling this morning. For those who are battling illness, 
financial difficulties, or emotional pain, we ask that you would be their source of comfort and strength. Wrap them in your loving arms and remind them that they are not alone. As we go about our day, Lord, help us to be mindful of your presence. Help us to see your hand at work in our lives and to trust that you are leading us exactly where we need to be. We surrender all to you, knowing that you are a good and faithful God. Amen. Let's take a moment to meditate on some powerful scriptural affirmations that will remind us of God's promises and his ability to take over every situation in our lives. Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still, and know that I am God. Today, I choose to be still and trust in God's sovereignty. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I believe that God's plans for my life are good and filled with hope. Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. I trust that God is working all things together for my good. Isaiah 41 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I am not afraid because God is with me, strengthening and upholding me. Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I bring my burdens to Jesus and receive his rest and peace. As you repeat these affirmations, let them sink into your heart. Let them be a reminder that God is in control, that he loves you deeply, and that he is actively working in your life. One of the greatest gifts God gives us when we surrender to him is peace. This peace is not dependent on our circumstances. It is a deep, abiding peace that comes from knowing that God is in control, that he loves us, and that he is working all things together for our good. This morning, let us seek that peace. Let us ask God to fill our hearts with his peace, even in the midst of uncertainty and chaos. Let us be still and know that he is God. In John 14 verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. These words remind us that the peace God gives is unlike anything the world can offer. It is a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that calms our hearts and minds. Let us pray for God's peace. Lord, we thank you for the gift of peace. We thank you that in the midst of life's storms, we can find rest in you. This morning, we ask for your peace to fill our hearts and minds. Calm our fears, Lord, and quiet our anxieties. Help us to rest in the knowledge that you are in control and that you are working all things for our good. When we are tempted to worry, remind us to turn to you in prayer. When we are overwhelmed by life's challenges, help us to be still and know that you are God. Fill us with your peace, Lord, and help us to carry that peace with us throughout the day. Amen. Faith is the foundation of our relationship with God. It is by faith that we trust in His promises, by faith that we surrender our lives to Him, and by faith that we believe He is in control. Hebrews 11 verse 1 defines faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Even when we cannot see the outcome, even when the future is uncertain, we are called to live in faith, trusting that God is guiding our steps. This morning, let us renew our commitment to living by faith. Let us choose to trust God, even when it is difficult. Let us believe that He is with us. Amen.